Yeah, Folly. Yeah, I'm right with you. I don't know why the good Lord ever allowed somebody that dumb to be made, but it's just, just part of life. Uh, if you just look at the letters of his name, Buford M. Bumford, there's enough D, U, M, and B's in there to spell dumb over twice, and I think it was just fate that he turned out the way he was. And I sure know there was a reason why his parents up and left so quick and moved to Alaska when he was only 12. And they darn left us with the worst part of things. Yep. I think if you took Buford's brain and put it next to a rock, most folks would pick the rock over the brain just because a rock don't cause you no trouble. Yep, that's right. Okay. Yep, I know. Well, we'll talk. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, Riley. Yep, it's Cousin Jeek here. Yep, I think you're right. If we can get that big log rolling down that mountain road, we can get it clean into town without even touching it. Yep. Sometimes I think you are even smarter than I am. Yep, well, that's... I know, it's hardly possible. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Riley, hold on there a second. Uh, Buford's on the other line, and you know this ain't never good, but hold on there a second. Hello, Buford. What's your problem there? Well, so what? You brought that little kitty in a live trap in the kitchen. What's the problem with that? Now, Granny smells bad. Oh, Buford. That little kitty there don't have a white stripe down its back, does it? And a pointed snout. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Buford, you gotta take care of that right now. Hey, what's that loud noise there? You're shooting at him. Why, you missed him. Yeah, of course there's a hole in the refrigerator now. Alright, just leave him right there. I'll take care of that. And no, no, you ain't going to come over here and take a shower. No way. All right. Uh, all right, what'd you forget to tell me? You was cleaning out the cistern behind... behind Grampy's barn. That's pure mountain spring water. Wait a minute, there ain't no cistern behind Grampy's barn. It was a septic tank, you idiot! No, you aren't bringing your boots over here to put them in our washing machine. Okay, I'll talk at you later, Buda, Buford. I gotta go home and have myself a good cry. Now, you just wouldn't understand, Buford. You just wouldn't understand. All right, I'll talk at you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello there, Folly. Yeah, what's up? You're calling for Buford because he, he knew I wouldn't answer the phone. Oh, no. All right, put him on there. Evil piece. I had enough trouble today already. Yeah, Buford, what's the matter? He was trying to dig up a tree in Folly's woods by them square stones, but the ground was too hard. Oh, Buford. Them ain't square stones. That's a McCoy's Gravestone Cemetery. If they find out about that, they're going to fill your body so full of buckshot that you're going to be very valuable at the salvage yard. Now don't tell anybody about that. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now. Gee. Believe it. Yeah, Jarvis. Yeah, it's Cousin Jeek here. You know what? You got bad news. I sure hope it don't involve Buford. Oh, no. He wants to move in with me. It broke both his legs. Oh, I don't even want to picture that, him trying to go through that basketball hoop head first. No. That, that boy could do more damage with two broken legs than a team of 12 horses going through a china shop. That's right. Yep. 
See if Cousin Jarvis will take him. Please, please, see if Cousin Jarvis will take him. Okay, okay, I'll talk at you later. Bye-bye.